What about the three other objects shot down over the weekend? Well, apparently, U.S. pilots could not even identify how these objects were even being powered or staying in the air, so we seem to know nothing. Anyway, joining us now with Reaction, a former Navy pilot. He previously encountered an unidentified flying objects. Uh, Ryan Graves is with us. Uh, Ryan, welcome to the program. Uh, I know NORAD is saying this, that it's a possibility. I don't doubt that it is a possibility. I've studied it. I've looked into it. I find it an interesting topic. I've not been convinced that, you know, life exists elsewhere or what these unidentified flying objects are. But you testified before Congress. Why don't you tell people what you said? Yeah, Sean, I think at the end of the day, I agree with you that uh, we really just don't have enough information right now to make an assessment either way of what we're looking at. What we do know is that there are things out there that are posing a aviation safety hazard, and now we're seeing that hazard demonstrated in real time in Alaska and Montana and elsewhere and across the United States. Okay, you testified. You're, you're a former FAA team pilot, and you said that 50 to 60 people that you flew with would tell you that they saw a UAP every single day, yet one of the pilot has confirmed this publicly. But you're saying that this was something you often all talked about privately? Absolutely. We would fly our jets off the eastern seaboard uh, in our working areas with our F-18s. And once we upgraded our radars, we started noticing objects in our working areas that we weren't expecting to see. And we were all seeing these. We were seeing them on our radars. We were seeing them on our camera systems and our FLIR systems. And eventually, we even saw them with our eyeballs. Uh, it came to the point where we almost had a midair with one of these objects as we were entering our areas, which forced us to file a hazard report or a hazard rep uh, to report to the rest of the fleet that there was a, uh, a safety issue that we were experiencing out there. And the yeah. air crew that saw this object just described it as a dark gray or black cube inside of a clear sphere. Well, go into a little more specificity and detail what the type of things that you saw and 50 or 60 other pilots that you spoke to say they saw. Yes, when we were off the East Coast, typically how we'd see these objects behave uh, is stationary, uh, which isn't very exciting, but typically when we're operating at altitude, we could have winds anywhere from 60 knots up to 120 knots. What is and your we'd altitude? We see these objects you fly operating. Uh, what is we'll the altitude? Operate anywhere from about 5,000 5, to 30,000 feet. Okay. And, and so, okay, there's so often they would be stationary. Quite high winds in these objects. Correct. And they would be stationary. Uh, against the wind uh, as if they weren't moving uh, when we're fighting to keep our aircraft in the area. Other times they would proceed in a straight line or in a holding pattern, uh, often at speeds up, up to a uh, supersonic 1.0 Mach. And they would also be out there all day where our aircraft would typically only last for about uh, an hour, hour and 15 minutes when we're flying tactically. These objects would be flying at high speeds for most of the day. Wow, amazing experience. First of all, thank you for your service. Thank you for sharing your story. And, you know, the fact that they don't know about the three uh, that they shot down over the weekend is spectacularly frightening to me because, um, in fact, it shows a vulnerability I never thought this country would have. Uh, we appreciate you being with us. Thank you, sir.